G'day guys, welcome to today's vlog. I am just running down to the shop to get some supplies, some shipping supplies, and just general supplies for the eBay business. Running a little low, so I'm restocking on all that stuff. There is a op shop that is in this town that I might just quickly drop into. But other than that, today I've just been planning a thrift trip or just a, a trip in general that I'm planning to take for the next week or so. As you can probably tell, in the back of the car here, as you can probably tell in the back of the car, I've got a mattress laid down there, planning to sleep in the car for about a week or so. And I've got like some box setups as well. I'm thinking this would be a cool way to store like inventory that I buy like straight away. As soon as I hop in the car, it goes straight into the box. Pretty easy to organize solution. And I'm also getting the car ready in other ways for the trip as well. But I'm gonna continue with that with you guys when I get back home. For now, I just gotta get a few things. I'm also listening to an audio book at the moment. I'm pretty audio book savvy over the last few days. I've been listening to, I've been listening to The Millionaire Next Door. Whoa, I just turned that on. I've been listening to The Millionaire Next Door. I believe I read probably like half of this book once, but I'm just getting back into it and I want to complete the whole book. Raises some really good points it's about living below your means. Often they say the most general millionaire or the most average millionaire is someone that you wouldn't think was a millionaire because they drive a car that is used and they don't spend all their money on consumer goods. Instead, they build their wealth with that money. So that money goes into savings, investment accounts and all that stuff and that's how they build their wealth because they don't blow it on other consumer goods. That's one of the very big tips that this book suggests but if you guys want to read this book I'll have a link down below for Audible which is a program that I use. It might be an affiliate link so have in mind if you click on that link then I get a little bit of a fund if you purchase from them. And I'll also include the Amazon link as well for this book as well. But it's called The Millionaire Next Door. Definitely give it a read. I would recommend it. So I did make it back and I picked that one item from the thrift. It cost me three bucks. It was a pair of jeans. I don't really pick up this brand at all. But these are Lee jeans. These are the low rise straight L3s. Size 31s. The only reason why I kind of picked these up is because they're a pretty amazing design. Pretty stylish and trendy sort of patchwork here. It's got some kind of like leather sort of stitching on there. And it's just an overall pretty sweet design. Three bucks for these. I'm expecting maybe 30 to 35. That's what the comps are looking like. But I'm also shipping out some other stuff that I sold. So let me show you the three other items that I didn't show you yesterday that have sold since then. Item number one going out is a 2XL blue Ralph Lauren polo shirt in custom fit. That sold for 25 bucks. Then for a bargain price of $35 was a pair of these Merrill Continuum Vibram hiking shoes, hiking boots. That was a bargain price for those. I normally get a lot more for them, but I'm just in liquidation, get out the door and get profits in mode. So they're going out. I also sold a pair of women's pants from that bowl clot that I picked up. Just a $5 note there. Also, this little Nerfy sold the Recon CS6 without any magazine for like 15 bucks. Parcels are ready to go. Let's go to the post office and get them out. Just got back to the office and I realized I just sold something on Etsy. It was that Air Jordan jumper sweater with a really cool print on the chest. And I picked up a pretty cool piece that I'm going to be putting on Etsy. It sold on Etsy for 50 bucks. I don't know if you guys remember when I picked this up, but I paid about three bucks or something for this one. Guys, I'm on my way to a thrift for today. It is five o'clock, so most thrifts are closed around this area, but there is one open till seven o'clock. I'm going to hit that up. Then I'm going to camp in the car tonight and we'll go thrifting tomorrow and then probably the next day after that and the next day after that uh, just doing a bit of a thrift just to build up the inventory but I've just pulled over on the side of the freeway because the sun is blaring and I need to get my sunnies from out the back I put them in here somewhere ah oh, there they are also I got the car set up for the next few days I'll be sleeping in the back here and then I've just got like a cardboard box set up there along the side and also here as well which I showed you guys. Right. I need to get my sunnies on. Oh, that's better. Going to get this book. It sells for about 40 to 45 US on Amazon FBA. So this one is a score. All right guys, I think the lighting is a bit fuzzy here at night because it's just turned pretty dark. I did pick up this Diamond Supply jumper. Has pretty good resale value. It was like nine bucks, but I picked it up for myself because I forgot to bring a jumper for this trip. So I'll be using it, but I probably will sell it down the road for like 25 to 30 bucks or something like that. I also got that book, but there was also two didgeridoos in there as well. One of them 
It was one big one and one small one. One, I think the small one was the one that was like all cracked down the side and everything. And they still had like 20 bucks on that one. And it was in no good a condition to use at all. However, there was another one there, the bigger one. They wanted like 70, 60, 70 bucks for that one. I didn't get it, but I have resold a didgeridoo in the past. But those weren't worth really reselling. They didn't have that much good value in them because they weren't handmade ones. The handmade ones are really good. But one day, eventually, I'll pick up another didgeridoo. I want to do a video on learning how to play one as well. If you guys enjoyed the boomerang video, then you'd probably enjoy the didgeridoo one. I am figuring out what I want to do next. I think I might uh, set up camp, go to the Maccas across the road here, get some work done, upload this video, and then plan for tomorrow. And then, then tomorrow should be a fully packed thrift day. So I should get that sorted. I'll probably go to Maccas now and do that. I am at the servo, they're probably going to think I'm going to do a drive-by, but I need to get the bucket and the squeegee thing they have here for the window cleaner thing. And I need to clean the bird crap that's on my bonnet. I don't know if you can see it from here, but it's just like all over the front bonnet, so I'm going to clean that. I haven't figured out where I'm going to be sleeping tonight. I'm sleeping in the back of the car, obviously, but I haven't decided like where I'm going to park. I normally park somewhere like at a footy ground, somewhere at a servo that's on the highway. There's none of them around here. Normally, I haven't really tried Macca's car park. I think the best option is like at a park or like a footy oval or somewhere around there. So I'll try and find a park around here, but it is undecided. I'm not sure. So you guys will have to wait until tomorrow's video. I'm going to finish the video here, head on into Macca's, get a bit of work done, and then I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye.